This is a vintage can of Rust-Oleum. This is what a can looked like back in the 1970s. Back in the 1970s, it sold for $1.99 sale price. It actually sold for $2.79, which is good because these days when you buy a new can, I'm going to show what the newer ones look like in just a moment. A newer can can run you four or five bucks, but again, it was the 80s. Okay, Forest Green. The new ones don't have that picture on there. They have a new logo these days. Stops to rust. It's amazing how different the can looks from back then. There you can clearly see it says 1973. Rust-Oleum Corporation. Printed in the USA. Made in the USA. There, if you want to read everything, the ingredients, I'm going to make sure this focus is in in case anyone wants to read that stuff. I find these old containers interesting. That's why I always pick them up at yard sales. Nobody else seems to want them, so I always get good deals on them. Also, I was disappointed to see this. When you open the top of it, look at that. It's all it's broken off. Even if I had a new spray head, I wouldn't be able to put it on there. It does have pressure in it, so I'm sure it would still work. Now, just listen to this. Compared to a new one, it sounds different, right? It actually sounds like there's two balls in this one when there's one ball in this one. And old cans had ball bearings in them. Metal ball bearings, that's what you're hearing. New ones don't have metal ball bearings. They have one glass clear marble. Because one time when I was out of spray paint, when the pressure was gone, I sliced it open. So I was curious. I wanted the ball bearing. It wasn't a ball bearing. It was a clear glass marble. That's what it was. So there is an obvious sound difference in the newer ones compared to the old one. And these both have paint in them, so they should sound the same. Because those are metal ball bearings. That's why. Um, now I'm going to see oh, this one here. It says copyright 2009. This is a newer one. I purchased this a few years ago because, you know, copyright, they always have a copyright of usually last a few years, each copyright. So that one I just showed from the 70s, it's definitely from the 70s, but it's not necessarily 1973. And look at that. That's nice to see. It's still made in the USA. That has not changed like many items in the United States have changed. Most of them have gone over to China, but this is still made in the USA. See, there's a clear difference. Yes, granted, this is automotive paint. Now, let me show regular spray paint. Most of them say the 2X on them. This is a standard size spray paint, but sometimes you go and you'll find the one that says 25% more for the same price. And the 25% more containers are usually basic colors that sell really well, like black and white. A lot of people use those. But that is the difference in these. Are the cans? Yeah, they're, they look exactly the same. Okay, this one here says 11 ounces. Actually, look, there is a difference. You see that? Net weight, 13 ounces. Net weight, 11 ounces. They appear to be the same, right? Yeah, they are the same size can. But this one, back in the day, they were filled more. They had more in them. If I peel this discount tag off, no, I can't. It's stuck to the old one. Maybe I could see where it, they, it was sold from. But I'm going to stop going on and on about this kind of stuff. How, how, look at that. Back in the day, look at how easy that is to read. On the newer can, look how small it is. Let me focus this. It was so much easier to read back then. I'm definitely keeping this can in my collection of vintage containers. Thanks for watching. Hope this video was interesting.